Greetings everyone, Good Sir Knight here. Today we are going to run a little experiment, spend some time together. We're going to take this lovely S Thunder grenade launcher and we are going to paint it olive drab. Why? A, because I really like the color green, and two, black really isn't a naturally occurring color. It kind of stands out when you're running around fields and stuff. So, all in all, I've actually never painted a uh, airsoft weapon before. I painted a shield, but as far as like a uh, grenade launcher, haven't done anything. Well, with this one, I took the top rail off, which is not really important, but this one is actually made of metal for the body. Which I think, yeah, that's metal too, so the whole body is made of metal, and this is made out of plastic. So we have two different primers we're going to be using. One will go over this, so we'll put masking tape to protect the stickers. We'll remove these extra little seals here, we'll paint all of this olive drab, and we'll paint this uh, olive drab as well. So what we're going to have to do, to keep the little switches and everything black, is we're going to have to disassemble this as well, so there will also be a brief disassembly in here. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now, as far as disassembly is concerned, we have a few things we gotta do. First and foremost, we gotta get this uh, takedown pin out of the way that holds the uh, launcher together. So, now there's several tools you can use. I don't have a punch or anything, so I generally use a little knife sharpener, actually, but it has a pointy end here, so you can just jab that through there. I think it comes out either way, so... Should be, yeah, there we go. So that pops out like so. And then this will actually come right out, yes. And if you look in here, you can see here are the... Here's the spring. It have two components that actually lifts the, uh, the chamber when it's open. So, that's all we really need to do for that part. Now, for the rest of it, it's gonna get a little tricky. So, first and foremost, let's take... Actually, that's not going to come out yet, so this is going to have to be put back in when we close everything back off. So, without further ado, we have one Allen key nut in here, and we have another one inside the uh, actual handguard. So, finding the size, we'll start with the handguard one. You're probably going to want longer Allen wrenches, because it's pretty deep in there. I'm going to... I... We'll start with, what's this, six? We'll see what six does. See if six will get it out. I think six might be a little too big. And yeah, just slightly. So you're going to want more of a, what's this, a five? So let's see what a five does. So you have a five. Oh, the five's too big too. Well then, on to a four. There we go, the four fits in there. So, a few quick turns with the four. As you can see, you definitely need a long one. This one's barely in there. I'm gonna do this a few turns. And there you go. So now this is off. We could, oop, there it is. So yeah, and here's our Allen key nut thingy. So, four takes care of that one. And as for this one, this set actually is too big. We're going to need to go with a smaller, I think, a two might be in order and yes so a two on the smaller set so we're gonna unscrew this and yeah there we go so we have our nuts and stuff what you're gonna want to do is definitely make sure you have a bucket or something you can put all these small pieces in so that they're not lost Right now, moving on, we actually have all this tape here, helping to uh, sure the thing stays together, and also just for aesthetic value. It's mostly aesthetics. It's pretty well constructed, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna remove this because as of today, we aren't going to need it anymore because it'll actually be green. So, Arr. oh dear, it's right under the trigger too. Oh well. Come on. So, anyway, how's your guys' day going? Pretty good, yeah? Having a good time? Just watching some YouTube, you know? Alright, that removes the tape. Now this is the whole metal component we're going to be painting. Now this should just pop open, so very carefully. Take this apart. Oh, there we go. Alright, so, here's the spring we had earlier to pop the barrel open. Here is 
the rubber for catching the uh, the barrel that pops open so you don't actually damage anything. Here's the takedown pin we don't want to lose. Alright, as far as internals, this is the clear part. Not a whole lot in there, but everything lines up. Now as for over here, we actually have all the mechanisms. So here you have the trigger and the return spring. You have uh, some small gears and stuff over here that work the safety. So basically the safety just pops up into the trick into the uh, little piston thingy here. Whoop. That's probably really bad, everyone. So, uh, yeah, something flew out. I'll probably have to find that here in a minute. Actually, no, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so really tiny spring that goes in the uh, safety mechanism. So we're gonna have to put that back in as soon as I remember how. So yeah, this is a uh, this requires some finesse. So now what we're gonna do is here is the slider. And there's a spring in there to return the slider, and that's used for opening the chamber. So we're going to take this on out, nice and easy. There's a spring that sits right in here. And yeah, there's a little groove that that connects to. So we're actually going to clean this out a bit, so we'll get a... Yeah, there's some, there's some sand in here from Ukin Beach. So we're going to actually clean this out while we're here. So we're going to put this tab in here. Now the trigger... Actually, let's see, we can probably take the uh, firing mechanism out. So this is going to be a little shysty. So I'm not sure which part removes first. So we'll start with the trigger. Yep, so the trigger comes out like so. Looks like this. Now when mine broke earlier, it was actually this piece up here that broke off. So you can get new triggers. They're inexpensive, but still it's preferable not to break it at all. So we remove, whoop, there we go. So here's the actual firing pin that presses into the back of the grenades and fires them. Here's the return spring. We're going to take that out. And those components are going to go in here. And let's see, then all that's left is the safety. Yeah, and there's actually where the spring came out of. So that's just going to have to sit back in there. So now, with all that taken care of, this is now empty and ready to be painted. So these two are ready to paint. And all I have to do is masking tape this, and I don't want to ruin any of the inside of the barrel. I suppose it doesn't really matter, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some paper through there, and we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to masking tape this up, and we're going to spray it down with primer. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Alright, and there we go. First try, all back together. Open but as soon as the paint wears yeah we'll, we'll work that in yep. so olive drab grenade launcher sweet <laughs> <laughs>